Looking at Kailua Town, you wouldn't necessarily know there was a World War II bunker still in use today. But right in our backyards, buried in the hillside, lies Battery 405, fortified with years of intriguing history. So right after the bombing at Pearl Harbor, the government figured that we needed more protection in Hawaii around the coastline, and they built this bunker and other bunkers as part of the seacoast defense system. This bunker was actually built in 1943, after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Bunker 405 was built with two of the guns that came off the ships at Pearl Harbor. When you take a ship gun and put it on land, the gun needs an elaborate cement slab all the way around the gun to disperse the shock wave. Guns fired at sea have enough power to move the entire ship several feet through the water, so you can only imagine the repercussions of firing a gun like that on land. Uh, outside here, the gun had a little building over the top of it, and the entrance to the bunker had a building over the top of it, and both buildings had a Japanese motif to it. And in those days, the idea the United States government had is if the guns were disguised like a Japanese village, that uh, the Japanese wouldn't bomb this facility. The main infrastructure of Bunker 405 was accompanied by another bunker at higher elevation called Fire Control. Up at this bunker, men would be scanning the horizon for threats. And he would have these books back then. Uh, one was all the shapes of the different ships uh, of all the countries in the world, and the other was the shapes and the types of airplanes and aircraft. With the help of these logbooks, someone would be able to identify any plane that might have flown in the sky. Having fulfilled its purpose in World War II, the bunker was decommissioned in 1950. The man that had it from 1950 when it was decommissioned to 2000 grew mushrooms here. His name was Ron Dizeroth, and his hobby was growing mushrooms. He obtained two specific patents for certain types of mushrooms in Hawaii. Gary met Ron at a local restaurant in Kailua and was invited to visit the bunker. And I thought that this would be a really great place to have a data center or a place to back up data. Backed by Weller's determination and his dedication to put the bunker to good use, Battery 405 will soon be a fully functioning digital archive system. We started a process of cleaning the bunker out, putting in new electric, computer floor. The first room is complete now and we're starting to market the uh, the data center. Upon its completion, the bunker will sit on Kalaheo Hillside as a symbol of Kailua's strength and resilience. This has been Ashley Stankovitz from Kalaheo High School for Hikino.